A 24-year-old Gresham woman moved to Pennsylvania after meeting a man online. Now police are looking for Haley Lorenzen's body after they say they believe she was killed. Now let's get to Fox 12's Marsha Martinez live in studio with us now with what we know about this case, Marsha. Well, police in Pennsylvania arrested 31-year-old Philip Walters just days after he reported his girlfriend missing. And although he's facing charges in connection to Lorenzen's death, investigators have been unable to find her body. This is something that no family should ever have to go through. Haley Lorenzen moved to Pennsylvania last November to be with a man she met online, according to her aunt. Tracy Dominguez says her niece had visited his home once before when she decided to stay for good. And while at first they stayed in touch, Lorenzen's calls home became less frequent. There was no contact with her, her dad, and that was just a daily thing. Dominguez says the last time anyone in their family ever heard from Lorenzen was in late December. On January 3rd, Tunconic Township Police posted this message to Facebook declaring her a missing person. Several family members, including Dominguez, flew across the country to look for her. We were devastated. Six days later, police arrested Lorenzen's boyfriend, 31-year-old Philip Walters. The man she met online is now accused of killing her. Dominguez says she wasn't surprised. He's a monster. We were all concerned and and crying and upset and doing everything that we could to find her and he just didn't seem very just very they're very concerned at all. Fox 12's Northeast Pennsylvania affiliate obtained paperwork showing the arrest was made after an unnamed person came forward claiming they helped Walters dispose of Lorenzen's body by tying bags of rocks to her before throwing Lorenzen into the Susquehanna River. That person claims that Walters choked his girlfriend hitting Lorenzen in the head with a hammer. For someone to do that to another human being is is horrifying. Police have not yet found Lorenzen's body despite launching drones and using sonar technology. According to Dominguez, freezing cold water and chunks of ice in the river have hindered dive team's efforts to recover her niece's body. We're dealing with some very difficult conditions on the river. Um, we tried our best today. We'll pick up as soon as we feel that the conditions are safe enough. The search is currently suspended, according to Dominguez. We hope to find her soon so we can bring her home and put her to rest. Walters is currently being held in jail after his bail was denied. His preliminary hearing has been set for February 25th. Dominguez is unsure whether anyone from Haley's family will be able to be at the trial. Live in studio, Marja Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon.